Hello my lovely babies, welcome back. Today is Friday and we're actually doing a vlog today. So for the longest time, I could not get my vlogs back on today and so I'm really excited that we are doing a vlog on Friday. I kind of just skipped a vlog, usually I do one every week. But I skipped it so I could get it back on schedule because I just, I couldn't get it back on schedule. I don't know why. I just, I could not. Dia couldn't get her life together for a minute, okay? Anyways, so we got a lot of stuff to talk about in today's vlog and it's kind of just going to be all over the random like it usually is. And so, obviously, I'm going to start off with some comments from you guys. Questions and comments and shout outs and for new vapors and all that good stuff. Yes. So, so Frank Anison, Anison says, Tia, I have noticed with my tank that I get fluid build up at the top of the tank in the tip well. Have you had this happen to you as well? Um, that's a good question. It's actually really common for you to get um, li e liquid build up right inside there on the inside of the drip tip. And oh, okay, new story. Look what I got. <laughs> it's so flippin' cute. So my camera just died or did something super weird and I'm getting fed up with the weirdness. Anyways, as I was, was I talking about this? I love it. They come in a bunch of colors now. Oh yeah, this is the 1100 milliamp hour battery and they come in a bunch of different colors. Also, Joytech has come out with Ego One Mega, which is a, a bigger one, and then the Ego One Mini, which is a smaller one and it comes in hot pink. So I am definitely going to have to snag that up. I'm actually using the atomizer that comes with the Ego One on this because they match so well. Usually I have the Kangertech Nano on top of this battery, but they just match and it looks so cute. And I put the organic glass drip tip in. And I'm actually using the 1 ohm coil right now. I haven't broke out the 0.51 yet. And I'm actually just enjoying this with some Caramel Milk by Bonsai Vapor. It's so freaking good. So much vapor from this little tiny guy. Okay, you see Martini? Teeny weeny, teeny weeny. Tia, what flavor vapes do you use when you go out drinking? I thought this was a good question because I um, usually talk about how if I go out that my craving for a vape is like way higher and I definitely need to have a vape when I go out drinking. Um, and you know, my brain went to, oh, you know, bring a tobacco vape when you go out to help with the cravings, but I don't vape tobacco vapes. Personally, when I go out, it's still one of my favorite sweet e-liquids, whether it be um, the Milkman, Oakwood Vapor, I like G2 Vapor, I've got some Bonsai in here, which is one of my tops right now. So, I mean, for me personally, I don't switch to a different type just for going out, but I definitely need like two or three tiny batteries. I usually carry this and a Mig Sig and my E-Leaf Ice Stick Mini with me when I go out drinking just because they're all relatively small batteries but um, that way they can fit in my purse easily and I don't have to carry around, you know, this, this huge guy which I am still loving. I've got the Atlantis version 2 on here with the .5 coil. Wide open drip tip. Justin Hosfeld has been cigarette free for four months. Congratulations, Justin, on joining the vape fam. Let's see what we got. Uh, T R O Edland Tro Edland Trodland Trodland. <laughs> oh my God! I've been vaping for three years this month. Holy crap! That's a long time. Congratulations. Greetings from Norway. Hello to you and congratulations. Let's have a vape for your three years. Oh wait. Oh my god, I have to give a shout out to the Canuck Vapor over on Twitter. It is his one year Vapiversary and I was like congratulating him this morning and that's awesome and congratulations to you for making it a whole year. You're definitely an inspiration to people trying to make the switch or beginning vapors. So congratulations to you both of you guys. E ooh, what? O E Locks. O E L O K S. 
No smokes for two weeks. Congratulations on not smoking for two whole weeks. I know you're new and it may be hard, but there's just so many options out there. Like, you really, there, you will, if you haven't already found a vape that is working for you, you will definitely find one. You have to, like, you can't not find one that works for you in this market. There's just so many. There's one, there's a type of vape for anyone. And this is supposed to be the one device for everyone, which is cool. Top Locker Guy, officially smoke-free as of two months. Gotta love that sub-ohm, though. I do like sub-ohm when it's in a tank. <laughs> I don't rebuild. I don't know if you're referring to rebuilding or using a tank. But anyways, congratulations for two months smoke-free. And I got this comment from Jose Pescador a while about him um sorry for not being active that he was in the hospital and so I just wanted to say like are you okay like I see like your picture you're vaping so what happened and I hope you a quick recovery and thank you for watching my videos and continuing to watch them even when you couldn't watch them or be active for a while thank you for sticking with me and still being a happy subscriber okay and really quickly I thought this was so funny because I just was like no I just laughed at myself when I noticed it but um okay I got these glasses a while ago I'm probably sure that I've already showed them they are like my favorite sunglasses right now they have little flowers on the side and at first I was like oh they're probably just glued on but they're actually screwed in with little sc screws and I wear these all the time and I noticed that the little flowers were coming loose and I was like oh crap and then I was like I wonder if I can tighten them if I ha just had a little screwdriver driver small enough to get into those little screws and lo and behold I do and it happened to be one of the little blue screwdrivers that I've gotten with um, some of the R BA bases that are included with the sub ohm tanks and I used that little screwdriver to tighten the flowers back down so now they're all tight again and that is I just thought that was awesome because I wanted these sunglasses to last a while but then you know something from vaping was helping something completely different I just thought it was funny and then another thing so I don't know like what you guys carry around with you I said you know when I go out I carry about three different things with me and they're usually small or I'll just carry one like my big MVP version 3 with me but normally it's a couple different things and then I got to thinking about other things like people carry around whole cases with juice and built like the rebuildable cases and whatnot and and actually the last time I was out at the bar my coil went out in my GS16S atomizer and I was like oh, because, you know, I didn't have it and I wanted to vape it, but it was gross and burnt. And so I was like, well, I don't want to carry just like a free roam coil in my purse so I can get lost or dirty or whatever, you know, down in the bottoms of my purse. And so I got these things online and I thought they were so freaking cute. And then they just, I was like, well, what am I going to put in these? And I figured it out. But look at these guys. These are little tiny macaroons. They're little plastic containers. And they fit coils in them just perfectly. Let's see, this one has a BVC coil and an Ego coil of some sort. And they do have like this little locking mechanism so you have to line up the little prong with the indent to keep it closed. And then like, you know, this one, oh, this one has a Kanger coil and um, another type of coil, I can't remember, but that's like a, that's a Kanger sub-ohm coil. And so it's cute. And then, you know, people like who don't need like if you just put a fresh coil in you wouldn't need to carry around a coil the only thing is these little cases can't fit the new aspire coils these big sub ohm coils or they and they can't fit the old-fashioned kanger tech coils they're just too long but as you saw they fit the new square kanger tech coils but if you don't want to carry around coils it also fits things like i had this plinth in there and this ego or this 510 ego adapter they can, those two can fit in there too and i thought it was really cute especially for you know Know, me if when I want to carry something around I don't want to do it in like you know like a plastic container just like a plane I want something cute you know I love cute stuff you guys know me and so I thought these were just adorable little ideas and um yeah so I just thought they were so cute I love little macaroons and I love the pink and yellow and they come in other uh, colors too but I just picked out two to for having these two colors and I just I love them and I wanted to share them with you guys because I like little tiny nicky knack things like this all right, Dieterbug says, show some more of Martini. Love your doggy. Well, you happen to be in luck because he's right here. Wake up. Oh, teeny weeny. This is Martini. <laughs> My little miniature dash hound. 
I love her. I adopted her when she was already fully grown, but she has become my bestest buddy, huh? Are you my bestest buddy? Don't, don't lick my mouth. Dum dum kus. <laughs> oh, wee. So there you go. There's more of Martini trying to lick the inside of my mouth. Thank you, Martini. Thank you. Does my breath smell good? <gasps> Your breath stinks. Your breath stinks. Your breath stinks. Show them what you do. Not that. <laughs> this is what Martini does. She just rests her face mm, on mine. Oh, you think you're just gonna lay there? You think you're just gonna lay there the whole video? The whole video? Okay, there was more of my teeny weenie. Next, next. Where's all those comments from the last vape vlog? Um, Manuel Vega is asking, what camera do I use to record my videos? It's crystal clear. I know, I love my new camera so, so much. It is actually a Canon G7X, aka Vloggy. And I got it because Jenna Marbles and her boyfriend, Jillian Solomito, use that for their vlogs. And I just thought the quality of their videos looked really, really good. And I like the fact that it has the flip up touch screen. I think it is so rad. And it's like double the megapixels of my old camera so definitely an upgrade but yes there you go Canon G7X for the win okay I found all the other comments but oh you can see it right here this was supposed to be a surprise anyways I just wanted to show you guys the mod socks you know the mod sock I have for my MVP 20 watt that I use in most of my juice reviews they also sent me some more little mod socks and this one is so cute obviously it's for my iStick mini which I don't actually have with me at the moment and then this one which is again hello kitty because why not it's my favorite of course is for the MVP version 3 let me get it in very snug as a bug in a rug I love it these definitely will help protect my mods from scratches and keep them warm in the cold. <laughs> if you want to check out all the custom made mod socks, you can check out the link below. It's a Etsy store. I will link it below. Thank you, Alice. They also sent these things, which are like... I got, I don't really know what they would be. They have belt buckles, so they could go like on your belt loop, and maybe if you were like going on a hike and you wanted to pack like, you know, if you're going on a day hike and you wanted to pack two like bottles of juice, you could in here. Yeah. And then this one's a dragon. This one's Hello Kitty. All right, Brandon Campbell. Hi, Tia. I'm a new to the vape fam. A little over three weeks off the cigarettes. Congratulations. I unknowingly helped. You pick out the Mig Sig 21. Oh, awesome. Those are great. I mean, if Sigalikes can do it for you, and that is the best Sigalike out there. So congratulations to you, Brandon. Evie, Evie T. Hey, Tia, me and my hubby absolutely love you. My hubby has been cigarette-free for almost two months now. Yay. Thanks to you and your helpful information along with indoor smokers. Congratulations on being cigarette-free. That vape was for you guys. To the next, to the next. Jeff Gerald. I'll be hitting my one year smoke free anniversary on June 30th. Okay, so that hasn't happened yet, but you're almost there and keep going. I mean, you're almost there, so why would you go back now? Not saying that you were saying you wanted to go back, but I mean, like, you got this almost a year. That's awesome. Definitely an inspiration to the newer vapors that I'm also shouting out. Murdo Mackey. Love your videos and reviews. I'm coming up to a year off the e real evil six. Thanks to vaping. Keep doing the excellent vids. Or keep going with the excellent vids. Oh, it's like dyslexia only. Like I just make up my own words. But anyways, congratulations, Murdo. Another almost year. You're coming up on it, so when is it? And congratulations, and I, I just love hearing it when people, people like that have been watching my videos from the beginning, or more towards the beginning, or like even when after a little bit, are now reaching their vape anniversaries. It's just so awesome. Sarah King, hey T, I started vaping in January to get off 
of cigs and I have to say that I love it. Congratulations. So are you smoke free? Or are you still vaping and smoking? I'm going to assume that you're fully off cigarettes by now. So congratulations on making the switch. And if you're not, no biggie. Like I always repeat to people, it took me a while. Took me a long while. Tommy Two Gun, new to vaping, got my first set up this past Saturday and haven't touched a cigarette since. But this was on the 14th, so that's even longer than just this past Saturday. It's been longer than that. So congratulations to you, Tommy Two Guns, on being vape free. Let's have a vape. Being vape free. Being cigarette free. Vaping. Shit, let's vape. I got something really exciting to talk about at the time of the video. Oh my god. Crazy mama vapor. I love your vids. Been sick free for two months after 20 years. Whoop whoop. Bought the MVP and the E-Leaf thanks to my reviews. Well, thank you for watching my channel and taking my word for it. And congratulations on making the switch for two months. That is congratulations. Anastasia Tzgoa Tzoga. Oh my god. Hi T. After 18 years of smoking, I'm two months smoke free. Woohoo! Congratulations. I really can't get enough of this thing. I'm just like, I just want. If I just sat here and vaped for 40 minutes and didn't say a word, would you guys still watch? Because, like. Ugh! Doran Bet Halahem. Your profile picture for YouTube is scary, but um, it's from the Devil's Rejects. Been vaping for about a month and a half. Awesome. Went from a little VV3 to the MVP3 to a Patriot RDA or an Atlantis when I'm out and about. Wow, congratulations. Patriot RDA. Did I say that right? Anyways, congratulations for vaping for a month and a half. I can't believe you're already on to RDAs. A lot of hobby vapors out there, you know? Yes, hey Tia, it's my first week off cigarettes and my first setup is an Inokin VV4. So this is on the 17th of April, so are you still smoke free? It's been like, what, three weeks now since then or two since that comment? Alright, Joey Carchitti. Tia, you are one of my favorite persons ever because of you. I am now two weeks smoke free and plan on staying that way. Meeting you is on my bucket list. Well, thank you. I'm really glad that you have decided to make the switch to vaping and that my videos are helping you make that switch. Alright guys, so that is all for the shoutouts for this video. I didn't take a lot of notes, which I really should have, but I was just more excited to do this video <laughs> to talk about the future of this channel. Well, not the future of this channel, but it obviously it's going to be in the future. So I've been tweeting, and I don't know if I post on Facebook, but I've just got so much extra stuff and I've been doing giveaways on my other social media because doing giveaways on YouTube is more difficult to um, keep it, you know, straight for everyone, keep it fair for everyone, because you can make as many YouTube accounts as you want, and you, you know, you can basically just pretend to be who you are. Where on Facebook, you kind of like, you know, you have to kind of be you, or you can tell if someone's a fake, or same with Twitter. And so I decided that when I reach 50,000 subscribers, and I'm almost there, I'm I'm almost at 40,000 now, but when I reach 50,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a huge giveaway. There are going to be three grand prize winners and maybe a few runner-ups. And so I'm going to show you guys a lot of this stuff. And all of this stuff was sent to me free of charge for the purpose of giving away to you guys. So I didn't buy all this stuff, but I'm just, I have so much and it's all so rad that I decided that I'm going to do the biggest giveaway in Tia Vapes history when I reach 50,000 subscribers. So spread this video, spread the word, and the quicker I get to 50,000 subscribers, the quicker I can ship all this stuff out. So I'm for sure going to have three grand prize winners. Of course, one like grand prize winner gets to pick the biggest amount of, because it's going to be like a pile of stuff for one person and a pile of stuff for someone in a pile. And then also I decided that I'm going to include e-liquid in this giveaway too, but only if you are willing to provide ID, like I need for sure identification that you are over 18. And if you can't provide a for sure valid ID or, you know, so I know that you are over 18, you won't get the e-liquid and I'm not going to take any, no ands, no buts, nothing. And, um, so if you can provide ID, then you can win e-liquid. And, 
And so the three grand prize winners winners are going to for sure get at least at least a hundred dollars in e-liquid maybe more because I have so much but it is gonna get expensive to ship out which I don't care it is so worth it when I reach 50,000 subscribers I'm just like I can't even believe my channel's gone this far and I feel like 50,000 is a really good time to celebrate and so I I think the last time I did like a YouTube celebration giveaway besides like my channel anniversary it was like at 20,000 subscribers maybe 10,000 because I was gonna wait and you know not do it every 10,000 because that's a lot, but I want to do, I've been saving up, I've been hoarding, <laughs> let's, let's be real, I've been hoarding this stuff to do a ginormous giveaway. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I have for this giveaway and I'm going to decide like first prize, uh, second prize, third prize, and maybe runner ups like later because I'm not at 50,000 yet so I do have time to prepare but I just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff and get you pumped up and excited because I'm excited that my channel has grown this far and I mean without you guys it wouldn't be anything so this is really just a big thank you to you guys I'll have a vape and then I'll get this freaking there's a huge tubware box right here that is <laughs> helpful of stuff so Oh, and if for some real weird reason you're not into the giveaway, you should probably just click out of this video because this is the last part of this video. I was showing you all this stuff and then I'm going to wrap up the video because I didn't really come prepared. Like, but do I ever come prepared? No. <laughs> Alright, so the first things I'm going to show you were right off the top and thank you to Joytech for sending these to me for the purpose of a giveaway. So these are the new colorful Joy or Joytech Ego ones. Like I have my magic blue one right here. This one is the cherry red. Now I'm not going to use it, but I just want to open it to show you guys, you know, these are all the colored ones. So I have all these. So I have all of these right on top. These are fantastic. I think they're like $60 on Joytech's website, but you can get them cheaper anywhere else. But anyways, these. Now these weren't sent by Kanger, but they were sent by other companies for purpose of giveaways. I got a K-Box here. I got a Sub Tank Mini. I got a Tesla Invader 2. Actually, I have two Sub Tank Minis. I have an Arctic Tank and an Atlantis 2. I've got about six of these Aeromizer RDAs. And a Vaporfy Vox Mod. What else do we got here? Okay, see, I got another one of those Aeromizers. I got a Smoke Tech X Pro. I got a Joy Tech Delta 2. I got an assorted Sunfire Tank. I got this. Like, I have to review this still, but I got two of these for giveaway. See, so there's two of these. I got a shit ton of juice courtesy of 12 Vapor and other juice too, but these ones specifically were sent to me for a giveaway. I got about four iStick mini kits. They're just in these, but they are the full kit in there. I got an ePower 3, a 30 watt carbon fiber battery. I got an Atlantis Mega, another assorted tank. I got another E-Leaf mini kit, another E-Leaf mini kit. I got an infected mech mod. And I got this V-Mag. I've had this for so long. But it's a full E-Sig kit. And it's one of those really tiny little sneak-a-Sig ones. And I've got so much more. I got assorted, you know, variable voltage batteries. I got a couple Aspire CF sub-ohm batteries and CF mod batteries. Whew. So, yes, I have all this stuff and I was thinking of creating like three awesome bundles for the first, second, and third prize winners and then for all the extra things to do like little runner-ups, like a CF sub ohm battery for a runner-up. But anyways, all of that is yours when this channel reaches 50,000 subscribers. So get to sharing this video, sharing the channel, and I will see you on the next video. That's it for this one because I'm not prepared ever. And I'm sorry, but it's Friday and I got things on my mind, like real life things. I mean, I love sitting down and talking with you guys. Hello guys, I am, <laughs> no, man, don't pull. I'm attempting to vlog this entire day for you guys. I'm gonna go visit Mama Vapes. I have an appointment with my eye doctor, but my stupid prisms and my glasses. Walking the dogs. They get to walk every day. See the dogs. Come on, man. Anyways, and so yeah, I walk the dogs every morning after I have my breakfast. Then I'm gonna go 
visit Mama Vapes, go to my eye appointments, and then go to Indoor Smokers Studio to do some filming. I'm actually using my camera right now on my, or I'm using my iPhone, the camera on my iPhone, because I don't want to take my vloggy on a walk with me because Nevaeh pulls and so I don't want her to pull. If she pulls my phone out of my hand, that's okay. Cause it's like, it got a heavy duty honor box defender case. But anyways, I'm gonna get back to my walk cause I'm going uphill and it's tiring. I'll see you guys later, bye. Hello, what's up guys? I am on my way to see Mama Vapes. My hair is still a wet cause I just got out of the shower, just got done working out. I'm gonna get ready for the studio down at my mom's work with her. So I will see you guys there, okay, bye. She always vlogs while she drives, but she doesn't like pay much attention to the camera. And I don't know how she sets it up, but mine just happens to have this little thing right there that fits just fine, like fits the phone, my phone just fine. There's a little divot there. But anyways, I'm only going 25 miles an hour because we're in residential. Oh my God, you guys, there was a freaking bomb threat in my neighborhood last night. Well, not last night, but yesterday. We took my dogs for a walk around noon. I was having a lazy morning. So it was like around noon that I went, maybe a little earlier, that I went for a walk with my dogs and, what is this dog doing? Can I swerve? There's a dog in the road. And um, so I'm walking my dogs and I'm coming down the, cause my neighborhood is like a huge loop. It's like a three mile loop. And there was like three big, not just regular sized cop cars, they were like the freaking SUV type cop cars. And there was three up in this, up in my neighbor's driveway, which is not my neighbor because it is probably like a mile away from my house, but still within the neighborhood. Because there's only one way to get in and out of this little loop of a neighborhood. Anyways, and there was, and I was like, I wonder what happened because there is a lot of freaking tweaks out in the woods. Oh my god, Bella. Bella, watch out! This is the prettiest dog ever. Bella. I just had to slow way down. She's coming straight from my car. She's a Siberian Husky. She gets out of her vents all the time. Anyways, so I'm actually just passing the house where the cop car was. Cop cars were. There was a freaking bomb threat. One of the other neighbors in this little community threatened to bomb their house and they had they actually had a bomb like they they legitly had a bomb and I walked the dogs at like noon and then Doug came home around 6 and he was like there's cop cars like and I was like they're still there like six hours later and the cops are there and I was wondering like I I thought maybe like that she saw a bear because you know we get animal sightings a lot cougars and stuff and bears and garbage cans have been knocked down a lot recently and I thought maybe, oh, maybe she saw a big bear. So she's, so I thought she saw a bear, but then she was like crying, like crying a lot. So I was like, well, it must be bigger than a bear. Cause like, why would you still be crying if you saw, unless you're like terrified of bears. So later on today, I found out about the bomb. I'd also thought maybe like somebody had messed with their mailbox and that's why there was so many cop cars there because you know, that's a federal crime to mess with somebody's mailbox and their mailbox, I never paid attention to it, but it seemed like it was a brand new mailbox. Um, so I thought that, but no, I was completely wrong. It was a freaking bomb. And done it, Mama Vapes. I am here at the post office mailing off the package for the winner, and I'll be down at the studio later. So I will see you guys there. Congratulations, Liz, on winning the giveaway. Okay, bye. Oh my god, guys. So I just got out of the post office mailing off Liz's Twitter prize winner. Yay! And I've gotten so many more vape letters from you guys. I love it. I checked my PO box and, of course, got a little vape mail too. You'll see some of that later. All right, on to my doctor's, or not doctor's, my eye appointment for my stupid glasses. And that's like 40 minutes away. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, bye. Okay, guys, I'm here at my eye appointment. So we will see what becomes of my glasses. The prisms was kind of a last shot before surgery. And I don't want surgery. So I'll see you guys when I am done. Hopefully good news, wish me luck. 
Oh my god, you guys. So I guess there was an issue with my left lens. There was like a optical abrasion or something. Like there was something in my glasses lens that was so effed up that they shouldn't have even released those glasses to me. So now I have to send them back in and get them changed again and fixed. And so holy cow, I'm on my way to Indoor Smoker Studio finally. Hi everyone, look at the studio. Oh yeah, we should be doing Whee! selfies. For Instagram. For your mom. Oh, oh my no, god. Uh, look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. Wee. Yeah, Malachi, you're good. Go ahead. How can you go into the giveaway? Okay, guys, so we are going to do some filming and I will see you after that. Okay, bye. Guys, filming is done. I'm sorry I didn't get to recording anything while I was down at the studio because we were just scrambling trying to find everything we needed for the video and it was getting late and so I totally just bagged about vlogging while I was there but you guys will be able to see that video this Friday on Epic eSig Reviews channel on YouTube. It was a lot of fun filming that with Indoor Smokers and Danielle from the Dab Spot. Before anyone says that vlogging and driving is dangerous, no it's not, because I'm not paying attention to the camera while I'm driving, and it, my phone just sits on the dashboard and falls over every time. There's just so much stuff here, Martini. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel for more reviews and this giant ass giveaway that's coming up. Go ahead and check the description box below for important links like a bunch of the stuff that I talked about in today's video and links to my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter or Tumblr, Vine, Snapchat, Vape Tilly, Vape Boss, what else? Basically anywhere. Pinterest. I love Pinterest for recipes. Yeah, you can follow me. You can stalk me pretty much everywhere. And if you don't get enough of me here talking face to face with you, I have a second YouTube channel where I upload completely random videos. And I admit, they're mainly of animals, cooking, and like girly stuff like makeup and nails. And so be warned because I've gotten a couple people that go over there and they're like, whoa, what, what is this video like? It is just you doing your nails and not interesting so like that stuff anyways but one more thing before you go today if vaping is something you're passionate about please consider joining casa.org and fight for your right to vape so as always i'm tia vapes and thank you so much for watching guys and i'm gonna do my vape kiss with the ego one in magic blue